I was very inspired by Eugene Sensei's speech and uh, Alison's and uh, Penny and uh, Ang. Thank you very much. So uh, we already passed the noon, so you won't have a lunch as soon as possible. But anyway, please bear with me. This is just probably five minutes. This is very important to uh, report what's really happening. The Hollywood Center Renovation Project. And this is report three. Uh, as you know, uh, we started renovation project middle of January, right after the next day of January monthly sampai. So it has been three months, three months. So you've been wondering what happened, what's happening, how much we have accomplished. And, but I will not go into details or whole the process. Uh, we gave a report last month. So this is a re report about what happened since the last month. So report three, so let me cover it. Uh, as you all know, uh, Hariyoto Center was not in a good shape. Uh, this is a previous condition. Just, just I want you to give Im image. So uh, when I moved to Hariyoto Center, I thought, oh, this center needs great care. And since the last month, uh, I don't know some, how many of you uh, became aware, we did a major work. Uh, our contractors working in the entrance hall and the taping to protect uh, you know, the areas and the surrounding areas. And what they did is sprayed with white paint. It's much brighter. Yeah. yeah. So they did a meticulous job before spraying, applying pa paint. And after that, they applied in dedicated area with blush and cleaned. So now you feel, oh, center become much brighter, more beautiful. Yes, and the other, yeah, this is the uh, result. But we keep improving, but this is just in the process. And then also they fix the cracks in the landing area, and this, they use very high ladder, and this is a little dangerous job, but they paint it and fix the cracks, and now all the cracks is gone. Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Okuno, you know, I, uh, uh, with respect, Nickname is Mr. Ninja. <laughs> Mr. Ninja. He's yeah, very wonderful. He's a great guy. Yes, I really like him. And this is a result. And also, they worked in office space. There's also another huge cracks. And before they started working, they protected you know, his plastic seat and covered everything and fixed the cracks. And you know, some tiny, tiny cracks, but they didn't ignore it. So they applied and fix it. And this is a Leo's room. Uh, I didn't notice because I didn't usually go into his room, but they also fixed cracks on the ceiling. And this is another major one. Uh, I'm using one of the bathrooms, the second floor. And when Eugene Sensei visited this uh, Hollywood Center about a month ago, uh, I gave him a tour and showing this is the area we fixed. And I noticed kind of water damage in the, on the ceiling uh, and in the next to the kitchen area in the hallway. And then I asked him to check. So he made a huge hole when we st he started breaking the ceiling. And you see, uh, this is just the beginning. He made a huge hole to make sure the cause of the damage. Then actually there are the issues of pipe and other, actually other, other things, but uh, you know, you see wood is kind of decayed because the water damaged. And so he need, made a new frame with like, a, you know, reinforced using the piece of the wood. So uh, then he fixed uh, pipe two, uh, actually this area. Since it's, it requires a lot of job and the money, we, he, we did this like minimum job, but still he did such a wonderful job. So he put, kind of putting it, uh, applying new seating panel. Then amazingly, they made a kind of a kind of door uh, because there is still risk when the older pipe. So whenever something happened, we can open <laughs> and fix. It. Yeah, so this is a new invention. So don't worry, we can fix it right away. <laughs> and now, yes, getting better and this is another one. Finally, we are moving into 
a third stage fixing the exterior wall. So as you noticed, we have a big cracks. So what we have a rain, the water is seeping and cause a huge damage. So now is the time we really fix the, uh, this crack. This is one of the cracks, there are other cracks. So they finally started working on the cracks last week. Ta-da! This is not Photoshop, anyway. <laughs> they did. So now the cracks are gone, and after they fix all the cracks on the outer wall, the exterior walls, they're gonna apply new paint on this magnificent building. So this is our spiritual home, your proud of home, special home, and we're gonna bring new life to this wonderful building, the origin of Shumei America and Shumei in the Western world. So they also did a little minor job in the kitchen area, as you can see, before and after. Yes, and this is a additional project Chandelier, you know, usually there is a kind of word like grandfather's clock. This is a grandmother's, grandmother's chandelier, <laughs> hundred years old, maybe more than that. And we figured out, found out this was made in Spain. Yeah, it's amazing. And Haru took a, such a meticulous job and clean solely, and it's ready to hang. But this time I insist maybe we should put some accent on the ceiling. We're gonna use uh, apply Edarion around the chandelier. So it looks a little, little nicer, I hope you like it. <laughs> so it's ready. So this today is a final chance for you to take a closer look at this chandelier, which is a display on the entrance uh, on the t t table. So you have a chance, please take a look at this chan all the chandelier, it's much nicer. So, and uh, for this project we received, uh, this is actually, Today, I got an update. Uh, we received $63,528 from 116 people, including members and non members. I'm so grateful for this support. Uh, this is not just the physical support, they were giving us, bringing us spiritual support. This is bringing wonderful energy to care about this special building. So, regardless of amount, I really appreciate many people's support. And thank you very much. And will this building will shine, continue for the next generations. Thank you very much for your kind support. Thank you.